Hey fellas, welcome back to another episode here at the Man Corps. So depending on where you're watching this, if I look like a fucking lumberjack today, that's because it is like 20 below in the Midwest. I live in Nebraska. It is so cold here, they're not even fucking delivering mail. So school is out, I'm staying home from work, I am working, but uh, this is my lunch break. So I thought I'd uh, put out uh, a video for you guys on something that I uh, wanted to cover off around ownership. But uh, if I look like a, a, a lumberjack today, uh, you know, a handsome one, I guess. But uh, anyway, so trying to stay warm. And today's video, we're going to talk about ownership. And what do I mean by ownership? Well, ownership is not just like owning a piece of property, owning a car, owning a house. That stuff's cool. That's not what we're here to talk about. I want you to think about something else when we talk about ownership and it's owning our insecurities, owning our fears, owning our doubts, owning our shortcomings and just completely taking ownership of and responsibility of all of them and how that can really set the tone for those around you, how it can make you become more of a leader, um, a better man and more transparent, a better communicator and uh you know just a lot of things that you know collectively are really awesome and some uh some areas that i've been trying to uh you know become a little bit more uh of an owner in and i will share those so you know continue to uh post comments and share feedback and let me know what uh, you guys are going through but uh stay to the end of the video if you've not yet subscribed please do subscribe to the main core but stay tuned to the end of the video as well uh i'm going to be covering some specific things about uh, ownership and um, letting you know how I've been using it in my own uh, personal life. So at the top, what I wanted to do to kind of introduce this is give you a visual. So if you've never seen the movie Eight Mile, there is a absolutely perfect example of ownership and it's actually at the end of the movie. So if you've seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but if you haven't, um, let me give you just kind of a short rundown. So uh, this is a story about Eminem uh, coming up through the ranks in Detroit before he was a well-known rapper. And, uh, you know, kind of a real lone white guy, you know, in a, in a mix of, uh, you know, a racially charged area. You know, it's just, you know, he's, a, he's, a, he's an outcast. But um, the end of the story is really a rap battle with, uh, with him and kind of his, uh, his arch rival in Detroit. And uh, throughout the movie, you really get to know who uh, B-Rabbit or Eminem is and all of his shortcomings, all of his insecurities, all of his failures, all of his doubts. And at the end, when he's doing a rap battle with his arch rival, Papa Doc, uh, before Papa Doc even has a chance to like call him out and like shut him down, B-Rabbit just lists off like all the shit that he thinks he's about ready to say about him. And spoiler, like, Papa Doc doesn't have shit to say because Eminem's basically owned up to all of his stuff. He's taken ownership in front of an, a huge room and it totally shuts the guy down. He doesn't know what to say. He doesn't have anything to say. So that to me is really the best personification, though it is a movie, the best personification of ownership. So let me go through this in case you forgot. Um, couple of lines here that really stand out to me and they are I know everything he's about to say against me I am white I am a fucking bum I do live in a trailer with my mom my bu my boy future is an uncle Tom I do got a dumb friend named Cheddar Bob who shoots himself in his own leg with his own gun I did get jumped by all six of you chumps and wink did fuck my girl but I'm still standing here screaming, fuck the free world. Wow. Like, that's only part of it. But then the end, the very end, he says, and fuck this battle, I don't want to win, I'm Audi. Here, tell all these people something they don't know about me. Like, wow. I mean, you know, again, you know, he's taking complete ownership of all of his failures, all of his shortcomings, all of his fears, all the times he's fucked up all this stuff. And the guy doesn't have anything to say. And 
lately I've been trying to like really do this in my own life. It's not easy, but we got to dig in there. We got to figure out like, you know, this is what I'm doing wrong. Be honest with ourselves. This is what I'm doing wrong. This is something I got to get over. This is something I have to confront. Um, rather than moving around things, we got to honestly just move through them, whether that's a fear, an insecurity, a doubt, um, a failure, uh, whatever it is, like we got to just face it and move through it and own up to it. Um, if you've been slacking at work, if you've been given a half-assed performance and your manager is coming up to you or, you know, your friends are coming up to you at work, like, dude, what's the deal? Like, what would be so wrong with just saying I've just had either a bad attitude or... I've just been given like half ass effort and just taking ownership of it. You know, when you're able to do that and not like place blame, so many of us, I think really want to like place blame somewhere else. You know, I think it's because our egos just don't like to just take blame or we always want to appear like we got it all together. Fuck that. Like, honestly, just take ownership of it and try it one time when, when somebody's kind of getting after you or, or they kind of question your, your motives or um, your performance, like just, just own up to it and be honest, like, you know, take inventory about like your performance or what you've been doing. If, if honestly at your core, you don't feel like this is something that is really you or you've been giving half, half ass effort on, don't just say it to say it. But if you really are honest and you know, you think you could have done a better job at work, you could have been a better friend or communicated better, um, performed better, um, be honest about it, but own it. And watch what happens to the person sitting across from the table. I've done this before and I've done it with friends and I've done it with managers and I've done it with my own family, to be honest with you. And it's actually not that hard. Um, it's way easier to just get through it and then to take ownership of it because you'll get a lot of receptivity from the other side of the table. Like, oh, because I think they're prepared for you to, you know, start reacting or coming from a place of, you know, like defense. So if you're just like taking ownership of all that and you're just owning up to all your flaws, all your fails, your, your, you know, all your, all your defeats, like all your performances, everything, like nobody can use anything against you. And it's just like the example I gave with, with B rabbit or Eminem, like he owned up to it in front of a whole room. Like, Tell these people something they don't know about me already. He's man enough and strong enough and transparent enough and okay with himself enough to just admit it. And the freeness that you feel, like the freedom that you get when you just let go of trying to have like this facade up is incredible. Um, and again, people are really shocked because they think that you're, they think that you're going to either throw it at them or start placing blame elsewhere. Like, that takes a really strong person to just take ownership. Like, yeah, I was like kind of phoning it in all week. Like my performance was shit or, you know, yeah, I could, I walked away and I should have, you know, held in there and I should have stood up for myself or I should have, you know, talked this out. I shouldn't have walked away. It got so mad. I shouldn't have taken it so personal. Like just own up to it. You know, it, it, we're all human. We're all, we all make mistakes. It doesn't mean that, you know, we're bad people it just means we're human. Um, you know, another side too is like, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty short guy and you know, you guys see, I got crazy hair. Um, I always, you know, got nice clothes and they're form fitting. I work hard for my body and I own up to it. Honestly. Yeah. I'm a short guy. I'm a, you know, I'm a bit on the Metro side. I always have to have my hair nice and sharp. It does look good. And I am in good shape. I am 35. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a catch 22, but again, like make fun of yourself every once in a while. You know, you don't want to have like too much fun with it. Cause you know, you don't want to like erode your own self esteem, but like the moment that you just start like totally owning up to it, like, yeah, I wear tight clothes. I, I gotta have a ton of hair gel. You know, I, I always have to dress nice. Yeah. I did shitty at work. Yeah. I did this. Be honest with yourself. And like, People are just going to be blown away and you will feel free because it's, it's not like you're battling those inner demons. You're accepting them. That's a strong person. It takes a strong willed person to be able to admit defeat, to be able to it, recognize that. What's the first step in any kind of recovery? Admitting you have a fucking problem, right? So 
it's not that bad. It, once you verbalize it, it, it really just, you, you let it go. And a couple of areas that I've been using this in my own life. So if I was a shitty friend, if I was a bad communicator, if I didn't stand up for somebody when I should have, I've been admitting that. And it's, you know, it's not fun, but at this, at, I, I can let it go. I don't have to stew on it. It does, it's not, it's not st stuff that I have to carry with me, that burden that I have to carry with me. If I was kind of a, a meek or a, a shitty boyfriend, I've owned up to it. And, you know, I've talked in past videos about, you know, past relationships and being grateful that they didn't work out. But if I was a shitty boyfriend, I participated in that relationship too. If I was shitty, like, or if I didn't really, you know, take care of my own stuff as a man, if I wasn't, you know, chasing my own purpose, if I wasn't, you know, looking after the things that we as men know that we need to provide, protect. I mean, if I wasn't doing those things, who else? I can't look to anywhere else. Like you got to participate in your own rescue. So I've owned up to that in relationships. I've owned up to that in friendships at work. If I was given a shitty performance and my manager's like, dude, what's going on? You know, Hey, you haven't, you haven't been, you know, he's not really saying that out like verbally, but you know, if your performance is lackluster, like just be okay with that. There's nothing that, you know, is going to happen that is going to be like earth shattering, you know, just a real honest conviction to your performance and who you are um, and being okay with whatever outcome. I mean, again, we don't know what is for us. You know, we don't know where exactly where we'll end up. We don't know if this is a gift or if this is, you know, moving us in a different, different direction. So be okay with, with whatever outcome that, you know, that comes from just being open and transparent with your problems. Once you just even simply verbalize them, um, that is cathartic enough for you to just get through it. Um, do it in the company, in the accompaniment of people that you trust and people that aren't going to stab you in the back, people that you trust and people that you go to and, and can open up to. Um, as men, I think personally, that should be with other men who, who can understand and appreciate what you're going through. But let it out and just be open with it. Just be transparent about it. Own your secure insecurities, own your doubts, own your fears, own your performance. Nobody's going to be able to like shake you down. Be like B rabbit. Tell these people something they don't know about me. Like how fucking awesome is that? I just get chills just like thinking about that. And it, it helps you get closer and through your fears. If you're not talking about them, if you're not dealing with them, you're not own up, owning up to them. You're just going to carry them as burdens. So it's time to like let go of that stuff, own up to it and just move on. You're going to be a lot, you're going to feel a lot freer if you do a, a lot more freedom. So that is today's video. And I hope that you have been enjoying videos here at the man core. And I appreciate you guys sharing your comments, everything that is going in the comments below. I'm reading that stuff and I am so grateful for each one of you for sharing your journey. Continue to do that. Please like the video, share the video. And please do share the channel with anybody that you feel would be good contributors and good members to the Mancore community. I have to run, fellas. My lunch break is over. It's back to my day job. But thank you very much again for watching another video here at the Mancore. Stay warm. Take care. Cheers.